हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज वृशाली एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन अवर प्रीवियस सम सेशंस वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट ऑल द इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ डेटाबेस विथ रियल लाइफ एग्जांपल्स एंड प्रैक्टिकल डेमॉन्स्ट्रेशंस आई हैव मेंशन अ कंप्लीट डेटाबेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सब्जेक्ट प्ले लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स दिस प्ले विल बी यूजफुल फॉर यूअर यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जाम्स प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्स एज वेल एज अदर एंट्रेंस एग्जाम पर्पज यू कैन शेयर दिस प्ले लिस्ट विथ योर फ्रेंड्स that will be beneficial for everyone now in today's session we will discuss the next important topic that is embedded sql versus dynamic sql as per your exam point of view this is one of the most important topic so first we understand about what exactly embedded sql so the name suggests that there are some collections of sql statements that are embedded or built in in particular system so this is called as embedded sql this sql statements are fixed and cannot be changed at run time let's take a example suppose there is a banking system you want to check a balance in your account so every time you follow the same procedure right you can enter your account number or you can enter the password right so every time you follow the same procedure means all the required sql statements are built in in particular banking system right so this is a fixed database structure and this system ensure the security and efficiency because every sql queries are pre compiled in the system let's take another example suppose atm transaction if you want to withdraw cash or check balance in your account or printing the mini statement so every time you execute the or you follow the same procedure or everyone follow the same procedure for providing this kind of functionalities right means all the queries are predefined and which cannot be altered by the user and every queries are pre compiled that's why they improve the speed and reliability so this is called as embedded sql all the sql queries are pre defined and built in in particular system so for that purpose they use different tools different libraries or different high level programming languages right so this is called as embedded sql statements everyone follow the same procedure to use the particular system now what exactly dynamic sql dynamic the name suggests that every time different queries have perform so this is called as dynamic means your queries are run time generated best as per the user input in run time applications let's take a example suppose there are different e-commerce application like flipkart mintra amazon right so all customers are search a particular product as per the requirement for that purpose there are different filters are used you can search a particular product by using different categories different price range brand or rating like three star rating four star rating in this way so every customer their searching conditions are different as per their requirement so in dynamic sql you can search a particular product as per the user input basically they provide the personalized search experience right so this is called as dynamic sql let's take another example in hotel booking system suppose you want to book a particular room in particular hotel so at that time you can search a hotel booking system application for that particular hotel or their website and you can search the room as per the location your checking date price different amenities and rating right so this all data have different as per the different customers so basically they filter the data as per the requirement of the customer so this is called as dynamic sql they develop general and flexible applications right now let's see the basic difference between embedded and dynamic sql embedded sql has a fixed and predefined sql queries and dynamic sql is a flexible queries it can be generated as per the user input embedded sql are the pre compiled in particular system or the application that's why it is more secure 
These queries are cannot be modified, altered or dynamically. These are the built-in in particular system. In dynamic SQL, all the queries are constructed and executed at runtime. That's why it is a less secure. For example, suppose some user enter a wrong input. So at that time errors or SQL injections have generated, right? Embedded SQL queries works fastly because it is a predefined. Dynamic SQL queries work slowly due to runtime query processing. It is depend on user experience. Embedded SQL query is suitable for structured and repetitive operations like banking transaction, ATM transaction. They use repetitive query as per the customers. But dynamic SQL applications require a flexible query construction as per the user input. Now, as per the previous year question paper, this is one of the most important question to write a short note on embedded SQL and dynamic SQL. So you can prepare accordingly. So thank you. Keep learning.